So what do you know about what happened to John? Oh, we're gonna do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna say this. Me and Chuck were sitting over there, right there on the doorstep behind that car. Yeah. Got it? Okay. And all of a sudden, the police pulled up. I said, what the hell's going on here? We were just, I was playing guitar, we we're hanging out. And uh, it was funny because Chuck said, you watch, coroner's office is going to pull up next. Coroner's office pulled up and I thought, man, must be some old John, some old, maybe a politician, you never know, who uh, went up there, got laid and died in the middle of it all, you know, had a heart attack. So we were laughing about it. All of a sudden, the plastic bag came out and... I didn't see him when he got in town. I didn't see him at, at, at all, other than the time he came out in the plastic bag. And uh, we're saying, God, man, that guy must have died a horrible death. He was bent like a pretzel, like this. And uh, it was real sad. I, I said, man, and then all of a sudden, uh, the, the manager of the hotel came out and said, hey, did you send that guy to my hotel? And uh, no, what are you talking about? I said, well, I know he, because you're from New York, and because sometimes I'll put people in there, uh, managers and whatever agents to come down. I put them in the hotel and right next to my house. So, uh, so yeah, you put that guy in my, in my, my hotel? I said, no, what are you talking about? He said, oh, he's some rock star from New York. His name is Johnny Thunders.